Well, the state of Metro is improving. That's according to its new board chair, LA Mayor Karen Bass. But the transit agency still has many challenges ahead, including crime, homelessness, and passenger safety. KCAL News reporter Carl Finstrom has the mayor's plan to tackle the issues. Mayor Karen Bass stressed that people need to feel safe in order to choose to ride Metro instead of driving. And she says women have disproportionately voiced concerns. So she said that the number of folks you're going to see throughout the system wearing green vests like these, Metro ambassadors and other types of ambassadors, will be increased. She says they will both help customers in the system and those dealing with homelessness and other crises. We know that drug addiction fuels so much of the discord and crime on our system. And we are making sure that we are both conducting enforcement and getting people the services and treatment that they need, depending on what is best for that individual. But we also must listen more to riders. In response to feedback, we are deploying more officers across the B and D subway lines, that's the red and purple lines, and the bus routes with the most assaults to prevent crime and improve response times. Metro has been under fire because of high profile crimes on or near the system and they actually requested and got a roughly $232 million budget increase from the board last May. They will extend what they say are costly law enforcement contracts with the Sheriff's Department and LA and Long Beach Police Departments. At the same time, they are moving forward with a feasibility plan to create an in-house public safety department. Metro's new budget also invests more in cleaning and sanitation and as we mentioned, they are expecting expanding their outreach with nonprofits to help those in need. Bass noted almost 50 people have died on the metro system this year. Also highlighted, last month's opening of the long-awaited regional connector allowing riders to travel between Azusa and Long Beach and East LA and Santa Monica. Today, Bass touched on numerous other projects now in the works to better connect our city in advance of hosting the Olympic and the Paralympic Games. And she stressed today as well that these types of improvements and the growth of this mass transit system are vital, not only for LA's economic, but also its environmental health. Cara Finstrom, KCAL News.